Hi guys, are you here from Blender Bros and in this video I'm gonna show you something awesome with hardups. Let's go! I was modeling something recently and stumbled across an interesting problem. Uh, I actually had to uh, talk to Master Zion about this and ask him you know, how to solve this and he gave me a pretty clever idea. So uh, let me show you what it, uh, what I'm talking about. So before we start, let me introduce you the tool that we're gonna be using. It's the uh, Mark uh, from Q menu. Okay, so when you're in edit mode, the uh, menu for hard ups will change, and you're gonna see this Mark option here. If you hold Control and click it, you will be able to create a procedural bevel. Okay, now the cool thing about it is that you can create this bevel on multiple corners. So you can have, for example, two of them running, and each of these is going to add separate bevel modifier. Now, these bevels run based off of vertex groups. So if you go to vertex groups, you will see that you're going to have two of them, and if you add another bevel, you're going to have a third one, and so on and so forth, right? So now we're going to have four vertex groups here, right, and four separate bevels. And you can adjust these bevels individually by going to Q and bevel, pressing Q again and adjusting this bevel, Q, Q, Q. And you can add more bevels, right? So you could go here and control click on bevel to add a bevel on top of that. So now you have five bevels. Now, if you're interested in learning a bit more about topology in depth and having some really cool videos with examples, we actually went ahead and updated our topology guide, Blender Bros topology guide and created topology guide 2.0. You can get it for free on our website and the link is in the video description. Enjoy. So now let me show you the problem I'm talking about. So let's grab a plane and let's extrude it in here uh, like this and move it up here. Grab these two edges and extrude it here and drop it down. I'll text with a machi mesh machine to mirror that, actually to symmetrize it and we're good to go. By the way, all the links to um, add-ons like hard ops, box cutter, machine tools and mesh machine are in the video description. So here I'm going to go to Q and Control click on Mark and create a bevel. And I'm going to also create a bevel here. So Control click on Mark and create a bevel here as well. And I'm going to Alt X with Mesh Machine to the other side, click on Sharpen to smooth it. So now, you know, I can adjust these bevels separately just by pressing Q, right? All right, so everything looks good and uh, you know no problems but look what happens when i'm gonna add a loop cut okay so Control r and drop a loop cut here and disaster right complete fucking disaster so now the problem here is that uh, we are adding vertices on the edge and blender is getting confused like is what is this vertex doing here so what we need to do first we need to select this loop right and remove it from vertex groups okay so we're gonna go to Control g menu and we're going to remove it from all vertex groups. Now, we still have a problem. There's a bit of a shading problem. And this one actually is caused by the loop overlapping with the bevel. Because when I'm going to go here to bevel plus Z, you can see that this bevel here, this one, is actually crossing through this loop and is causing shading problems. So what we need to do is GG and move that vertex away from this bevel here, right? That's one. But you can clearly see that uh, this edge here is no longer beveled. To fix that, we need to reassign this edge uh, back to the vertex group. So we're going to go Control G again, and we're going to assign it to active group. And now everything is peachy. I'll take to the other side, and, you know, everyone is happy. So now you can just, you know, grab this edge here, and you can start, you know, uh, playing with it. So there you go, guys. That's how you uh, fix the problem um, in terms of uh, vertex groups in Blender uh, using hard ops and vertex-based bevel. Now I want to show you one more cool trick with the Q mark menu. So let's draw a cutter here, and I'm gonna press B for bevel, right? With uh, a box cutter, create a bevel like that, and shift click to life. Okay, let's bring this cutter to local view. And when I'm going to go to edge mode, you can see that these edges actually are bevel weighted edges. So the limit method here for this bevel is not a vertex group, but actually weight. Now, the cool thing about this um, hard ups bevel is that not, not only you can adjust the entire bevel on the cutter, but you can adjust individual edges. 
So if you go here and press on the Q and Alt click on the mark, you can actually adjust edges. Now this is really handy when you're working with stuff like end guns because end guns, unlike cubes, gonna create different types of angles. You know, cube is 90 degrees angles, right? But end guns, you know, could have different angles. And some of them could be sharper than others. So if I'm gonna create something like this and press B, um, you know, some of the corners could not be a bit sharper than others, right? So especially when I'm going to, you know, I don't know, do something like this, okay, and cut it. So now, if I'm going to grab this to local, you can clearly see that this edge here, this bevel, is much sharper than this one. And it could cause some problems, especially when you're going to try to run a bevel on top of this. You know, when I'm going to go to this cube here, grab the cube and run a bevel, you see this bevel here on the corner is going to overshoot, right? See that it's overshooting on itself because it's just too steep. So what we need to do, we, you know, we need to relax this um, uh, this cutter a bit. So go here, select this edge, go to Q, Alt click on Mark, and you can actually change this um, bevel here a little bit. Another way of doing, um, you know, of fixing this would be to use on fuck from Mesh Machine. So if you go here and um, apply Visual to Mesh, you could select this edge here with Control, go to Y menu with Mesh Machine and on fuck, and you can actually relax this, uh, you know, this. Um, uh, bevel here as well. I'll uh, take to the bottom, remove this edge and bump your anchor. This is very useful especially when you want to change angles of your geometry. So let me show you. Again, when you have this plane here and you know you have a um, angle like this and when you create a bevel here, right, if you want to change angle of this plane you can do that but you see that you're going to break this flow here, right? Now with procedural bevel uh, that's a different story because uh, the bevel will follow uh, the the plane so watch see what I mean this is why these bevels are so useful especially when you're for example doing some sub D modeling um, or just you know just coming up with some interesting shapes and you know you just want to change the angle here and uh, you know with a baked bevel this would be impossible all right guys well that's it for this video thanks so much for watching see you in the next one